Vote counting was underway in Niger on Monday in a presidential runoff that was made by the deaths of seven election workers. They were killed in the rural commune of Dago, around 60 miles from the capital Niamey, when an electoral commission vehicle hit a landmine. A reminder of the threat posed by Islamic militants as the West African nation heads towards its first ever democratic transition of power. Dago is close to the border with Mali in a region plagued by violence. An attack on two villages near the border in January killed at least 100 civilians, the worst such incident in recent memory. Militants linked to Al-Qaeda and Islamic State operate along Niger's west border with Mali and Burkina Faso, while Boko Haram is active along the southeastern border with Nigeria, making security one of the dominant campaign issues for the election. But security is not the only concern. Niger is one of the world's poorest nations and suffers recurring droughts and destructive flooding. The global health crisis and weak prices for its main export uranium have added to its problems. Student Hassana Ibrahim Adama cast her vote in the capital, Niamey. I want everything to change, especially for students, education and the way classes are run and other things. I want everything to change. Sunday's voting followed a first round on December 27th, in which ruling party candidate Mohamed Ibarzoum won around 39% of the vote to former President Mahama Usman 17%. Barzum then won the endorsement of the candidates who came in third and fourth and was the favorite of going into the runoff. Early results released by the Electoral Commission on Monday gave Barzum a slim lead and full results are expected by Friday. So